Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 27th of December 2021 and the time now is 6.16 a.m. Well, today is our video review and the topic is about how to green the world's deserts and reverse climate change. Right, so before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so um, for this video, it's, it talk about uh, desert greening, which is like, um, how can they do something and uh, try to uh, change uh, the desert into uh, into uh, into non-desert. Yeah, and I tried to do uh, some further research and found that the way that mentioned in the video is actually called holistic management. Yeah, and uh, for this one, uh, uh, for this method, basically, uh, they uh, they involve bringing in livestock and then uh, these livestock are move uh, are make to move around specific area and then uh, if that is a desert it means uh, it may not have grasses on it but uh, uh, never mind they just move around make the make this livestock walk on uh, walk around this area and then uh, after that uh, this can uh, make that place uh, to um, to have green grasses on it after some time instead of being a bare uh, ground. Yep, and then uh, yeah, it seems like this is uh, not only deal with the uh, desert desertification, uh, but also uh, for for this topic, uh, for this video, it talk about uh, something dealing with the climate change. Yeah, and for this one, uh, yeah, I uh, uh, actually I didn't uh, uh, focus much on this part. Uh, I would say I'm I was not uh, aware of this. Yeah, I don't know that uh, actually there is uh, this kind of way to deal with climate change, and uh, I believe that many people also uh, uh, we focus on the. Uh, the, the, the energy, the technology, which is like uh, some technology can help us to uh, re, uh, can can uh, can help us to generate uh, renewable energy, and then without causing much uh, the, uh, the 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 warming effect. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, in this video, it talk about uh, another way. It is like uh, not focusing on the energy, but it's like to deal with the deserts and then uh, uh, it kind of like to to uh, to change the ecosystem. Uh, uh, the desert turn into the green land and then uh, uh, this can affect our climate change. Yeah, and also I was also shocked that uh, in our world, two uh, two thirds of our land uh, actually is affecting by uh, desertification. Yeah, uh, yeah, the numbers just shock me. Yeah, it is uh, more than half of the land in the world. Yep, and then... Uh, um, yeah, uh, I, <clears throat> I think here the statistics show that it's, it's not uh, the desert land take, mm. uh, take uh, two, two of the thirds of the global land, I yeah. think it's not like this. I think it's two thirds of land in in the planet couldn't grow the crops. Yeah, so mm. it's not the land. It's not the land uh, already become the desert. This, this is my understanding. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, after some times, will those land become desert? Maybe uh, yes, and twenty years. Yes, mm. because yeah. uh, if you don't have any 
a way to to kind of restore them. Eventually, they will turn into leather. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So uh. So many uh. A big portion of the land in the world is uh. Kind of like facing a threat of becoming desert, and also before this video, I have totally no idea how do they uh deal with uh desertification. And in my knowledge, it is about like uh, uh maybe you go to plant more trees, uh and then uh try to make the the area become green again. And also in my research, and I found that uh in Wikipedia, uh if you try to type the keyword like desert greening, um you can see holistic management, and then you can also see. Uh, many other approach, many other methods. Uh, also, the plant, the, the tree planting is uh, also one of the way. And uh, also, I came across many uh, articles, which is basically in China. Uh, they kind of like uh, deal with the desertification, uh, not not fully using holistic management, but uh, it's, it seems like. Uh, they have the tree planting uh, program, and then uh, also they have been doing well for uh, more than 30 years. It is like they start planting trees uh, on those area which they think uh, will be affected by desert or uh, already become a desert. And so until today, it has been uh, like 15, 50 years. Uh, and also, uh, uh, for China, it is a great success for them. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but I think this is a different method compared to uh, the this one, holistic management. And also, I believe that in different places uh, with different condition, uh, also they consider about the cost of doing uh, the uh, desertification. Uh, I mean, uh, doing something to do with desertification is different. The cost is different. And also I found that uh, uh, the holistic management, which is uh, the way that the speaker share uh, in, the, in the video today, is uh, uh, it is mentioned as one of the uh, kind of like cost effective approach, which means uh, compared to other approach, approaches, uh, this method isn't a very costly one, and it is a very effective one. Yeah. Um, so I also uh, am also curious why uh, this approach isn't used in China, which China actually has a, uh, a, 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 a quite a big portion of land is uh, affected by desertification. Yeah, and uh, also some of my uh, other. Uh, 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 yeah, I want to share something uh, which is uh, out of this video today, uh, which is in China, basically they uh, plant the tree and then uh, the purpose of doing that is to uh, kind of like deal with the wind. Yeah, because uh, let's say imagine there is a piece of desert and then uh, because of the wind, the, the, the sand on the desert uh, actually uh, 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 will, will be brought to uh, to other area nearby, and then this, uh, the, they keep repeating the process, and then uh, actually the desert will kind of like enlarge, being enlarged, uh, will become uh, bigger and will cover other areas, which is uh, previously not a desert. So um, they, they kind of like having a plan, having a program to plant the tree um, in uh, some uh, in some area so that uh, when the when the tree grow up, and they can uh, deal with the wind, and the sand won't won't be uh, brought to uh, the other area so easily. Yeah, so this is uh, also one of the uh, uh, the the idea, <clears throat> the the reason for them to plant the tree. Yeah, and also uh, in China they also try to uh, make use of the desert. Yeah, even though we say desert is kind of like dry, and uh, or maybe the sand, uh, the soil isn't suitable for farming, for growing thing. Uh, but actually in China, they use uh, 
some uh, some some methods. Yeah, one of it is to uh, to use something like a a mixture, and then uh, the the mixture uh, they kind of like uh, uh, put it into the sand, and, and then the sand will become uh, more suitable for farming. And the other way I came across is they actually uh, kind of like put a layer under the sand. Uh, you can imagine that it is something like a, a plastic a plastic cover under the un, under the sand. And then uh, uh, once there is, let's say, the uh, the rainfall or they put water on the sand, uh, the water won't uh, won't go. Uh, they will keep uh, on the surface and they won't just uh, go into deeper sand and then disappear. So uh, they kind of like being able to keep the water in uh, in the soil. And uh, by doing that, they are able to grow things on uh, on on the sand more easily, uh, which the water won't go away too fast. Yeah, and uh, this layer can last for fifty years, uh, according to uh, the video I watched. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, that is another video. I doubt about the I doubt about the years because mm. uh, first first question is where you get a good soil, and second. Uh, what do you do after you you replace? Uh, no, not replace. Uh, after you after you put all the good soil on the on the desert, what do you do? You plant, you farm, and after some time, the good soil turns to bad soil and turn to the sand again. I think the mm. fifty years should mm. be if you do nothing. Mm. Um. I uh, don't know. No, it is not like that. Um, I, I mean, the, the life of lifetime of fifty years is about the the layer of the plastic under oh. the sand. Uh, oh. it can last for fifty years, and then uh, actually they say uh, in China they they make use of the desert because actually the sand uh they are not like other soil, so uh the air can uh can actually go through. And it is beneficial for uh, for for planting some particular uh, uh, crops. And then what they what they plant here is the um, yeah. I, uh, I wait a minute. Uh, just right now, term. just now, what do you mean? What is the air? Uh, uh, yeah, the air can can uh, can go go into the into the the soil easily. It is like uh, which, uh, which soil? Is a good soil or the sand the best soil? Uh, the the type of sand, uh, which is they are not like uh, other soil, which uh, so sticky. They are not so sticky. So the the air can actually go in, uh, uh, go into, go into the the sand. Yeah. So what's the point here? Yeah, it is, is good for. Benefit? Yeah, it is yeah. good for farming. Uh, for some particular crops, and they have been planting, uh, the rice. Yeah, the rice, and then uh, they found it very uh, successful. And China is actually one of the country that deal with uh, desertification well. Uh, they they have also mm. a yeah. Uh, I mean, sir, uh, then why they need to put the good soil on the layer? Uh, not the good soil. It is something like uh, uh, something I think I believe is chemical things. And then uh, uh, once they put into the soil, it is something like a glue. Uh, or, or some mixture of water, uh, the uh, the the desert will become uh, more suitable to to grow something on it. Then, sir, is it something like the fertilizer? Uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. Mm, yeah, it is something like that. Chemical thing. What's, what's the color of of the chemical? Um, for for that one, I I'm not sure because I uh. Uh, I get the information from diff different parts, and one of it is used the plastic. And in the video of plastic, they didn't mention about uh, this chemical. And yeah, uh, I think I think mm. uh, mm, by using this kind of method, they didn't restore the the soil. They didn't restore the 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 land. They just find some way to plant on the desert. You know, uh, you know what? If you you can grow almost anything. 
by using high uh by by using the what is it called uh, uh hydroponic three dalfa. You can even grow the rice uh by using just water. If you have a ground if you have the ground uh, uh mediums and then yeah you don't need the soil. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but uh, in in that video, it is uh, they're using the soil. Ah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, but the soil is the sand. Sand is not soil. The sand could be uh, could could be the ground media. Just just like uh, try to imagine the the sand don't have any nutrition. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so, how do you grow the plant? You need to give them nutrition. So, what do you do? You put nutrition on the sand, so the plant can absorb the nutrition directly from the water they absorb. Mm. Yeah. 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 And uh, for this one, suddenly I uh, recall something which which may be important for here. Uh, China, they before they decided to plant the rice on uh, the desert. Uh, they say desert can be uh, classified as two types. One one is uh, called plantable desert, and the other one is like uh, maybe uh, difficult to plant things on it. Yeah, I uh, I don't know how do they uh, define this and uh, what is the factor. And then what then what uh, what if all the plantable desert turns to unplantable desert? Um, yeah, I think uh, they they do this also important because uh, they try to um, uh, try to slow down or even uh, st uh, prevent. Yeah. Uh, so, the yeah, so, so, this, yeah, so so this is a point uh, which which is a first point where the good soil come from, where the fertilizer come from. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but they also okay. call this like uh, turn the sand into soil. It seems like uh, once they invest the first time and then uh, the crops that they, that they grow on the desert, um, they were also like uh, becoming, uh, uh, they decay and then uh, they, they kind of like change the quality of the soil at that area. Mm, yeah, uh, th th this one, uh... This one I agree because some crop will die, and and the uh, and the dead body of the plants will go into the soil, and yeah, the bacteria will 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 kind of like the this decompose decompose the 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 plants the dead plants, and then it can uh it can hmm. It can change the quality of the soil. This one I agree, but mm. how much extent they can do? This is a question. Yeah, because you know, uh, it is not so easy to 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 decompose or to yeah. Even though you want to make a compost, you need a few weeks, and some things uh is very is very hard to decompose. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but uh, but I found that uh, if it is uh, kind of like um, uh, being being another way, uh, I think it is also scalable. Uh, they actually use the kind of like the uh, a big vehicles like a bulldozer. Um, uh, they um, they they do that not only by uh, fully by human. They do it actually quite fast. And uh, they are uh, doing a big scale, not a small area. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but where and, the uh, mm. and why is the chemical? Because uh, you you uh, we 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 are talking about we have an assumption which is the chemical will not hurt the soil. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Of course, you may say the soil already. So bad, so we don't mind to to, <laughs> to to kind of like uh give another damage on this. But uh, you need to compare the trade off. Mm, mm. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Mm, the, the fertilizer is a problem. The mm. first is a chemical, and the second is where it comes from. Is it come from uh, maybe animals mm, food or some? Yeah, even though it is come from the the pure chemical fertilizer, how do you do it? How do you make it? It also must come from somewhere. And is the things uh, scalable? The matter is scalable, but the material is not scalable. So at the end, it is not scalable at, at all. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I uh, look into this method as a way which is like uh, um, a win-win situation for what the country want to do and also uh, the the resident are able to the farmer are able to uh, make money uh, yeah. uh, and feed themselves mm. at the same time. Yes, uh, this is true because uh, the farmer want want to generate profits from from the previously unusable land. If you can uh, make the land plan. A plantable, they can plant something on it, uh, they can generate profits. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think uh, whichever way uh, that they used to uh, kind of like do uh, to to uh, to do the desert greening. Um, yeah, I think uh, any way will be good uh, because uh, even though maybe your way isn't uh, uh, isn't uh, isn't very effective, but actually, uh, if you do something, it's actually uh, slowing slowing down the the speed of uh, desertification and many other area beside beside the uh, or nearby the desert will be affected. Actually, uh, if we didn't do anything on it, yeah, yeah. So. Um, okay, uh yeah, I, I think I think the main point here, the the most important things it at here is not it's not uh, we want to plant something. This is not this case. The the most important thing is the quality of the soil, the degree the the degree the degradations of the soil. Try to imagine if if all the soil turns to sand, turns to desert, all the land turns to desert, can you live in? Can you still live in this planet? Yeah. Um. The environment will become more, uh, kind of like unsuitable for human, and yeah. And actually, also in the video, uh, something they mentioned is like uh, actually the, uh, the the desert. Uh, the drought is not a cause of. Uh, 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 I mean, the drought won't cause desert desertification, but actually, the desert will cause the drought. Mm. Yeah, because mm. uh, the the lands couldn't couldn't like uh, keep mo keep moisture, couldn't couldn't keep the water, mm. so the rains uh, when there's land. Uh, oh, sorry. When there's rain, uh, when raining, and then the water just uh, keep on the surface of on the sand, and then when the when the weather becomes hot and all the water evaporates and, and become cloud again, mm. so the lands couldn't couldn't keep the couldn't keep the water, the soil couldn't keep the water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also, when you think from this perspective, you you are not talking about the utilize the deserts. We are not thinking about oh yeah, uh, even though uh, all of our lands turn to desert, we still can plant something on it. No, this is not the case. Yeah, you can do that. 
But can you plant a tree? Can you plant how many plants you can plant? Can you turn? Uh, can you? Can you kind of like reverse reverse the climate change? Can you kind of like uh, make our planets become greener by using your by using your agriculture crops? No way. You can utilize the data, but you can't. But you can't turn the land green again. Um. Uh, I'm not very sure, but I don't. I don't think so. Um. Uh, it seems like once they invest uh in it, and uh the the quality of the soil started to uh to change, and okay, then. Uh yeah, uh, you know why? Uh, because why the soil become dangerous? Because they do too much plants on it. They do mono. They do the monocrop. They keep planting the same thing on the same piece of land, so the nutrients of the lands decrease, and then the soil quality decrease and decrease. Yeah. You can you can try to search. Um. How mo uh like how monocope the uh, how monocope like damage the lands? You can find many 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 uh research statistic. So how the farmer do? They need to rotate the lands. They need to ro they need to do like the uh rotate uh plants. They couldn't they couldn't plant the same crops on the same piece of land, mm. and they need to rotate and wait the land recover. Yeah, and this is for normal soil. The farmer need to do that. Use the logic. For normal soil, the farmer also need to do this already. How about the how about those land already degraded? Mm. And you keep and 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 you didn't plan to, to to turn the land become green. You just want to plant something. You plant the agriculture on that. Use your fertilizer. Yeah. And use logic to think why the soil will degrade. Because the the absorption of the nutrition is greater than the recover. Of course, you you got some dead crops on the on the on the land on the soil, but you add, but the but all but the agri but 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 all your crops, the aggregation of your crops absorb more nutrition from that piece of land. Just a few dead crops will not help the uh, will not help the piece of land. And where the fertilizer come from? And why farmer need to use chemical? Need to use fertilizer on their land? The first time they plant, and then the they harvest a lot, and then the second time. They harvest lesser, and then the third time they harvest even lesser, and then and then uh, they can't do the fourth time because uh, the cost and benefits uh, by 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 considering the cost and benefit, it don't allow them to do that. Their input greater than their output, so they need to plant other plants, they need to plant other plants, and then absorb another form, another type of nutrition of the land. So they keep doing that. So the land, eventually, all the nutrition of the land become uh absorbed by by all kind of crop, by all kind of variety of crops. So the land slowly, slowly turn to desert. Mm. And why they need to wait the land to recover? Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah, so uh, sometimes we don't we don't just look at the statistics. We we use logic. This is totally this is totally not logic. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. So, uh, any point uh, uh, for that? Uh, yeah, no. Mm, no today. Okay, and about about this, actually, uh, I think this is a cycle. Oh, why I call cycle? Because the the quality of the soil is so important. Why? Because the plants need a good quality of soil, and then the plants will absorb, will consume the nutrition of the soil, will degrade the quality of the soil. So how can you make the the quality of the soil better again? So you need animal. Why you need animal? Because animal is a natural uh, fertilizer. They work on the land, and then they will put, for example, like the ruminant animal, the goat, the sheep, uh, the cow, the cattle, <clears throat> they eat the grass, and the grass is very easy to grow. They just need sunlight. And then the grass grow, and then uh, the grass don't need too much nutrition. Uh, this is very, uh, this is true because you know the crop, the crops needs more nutrition because you know you need to grow the food, you need to grow a certain part uh, uh, of the, a certain part of the plants, maybe, the, maybe a stem, maybe a leaf. So hum those part is edible and other part is, is inedible. So human couldn't eat them. Yeah. And human can only eat a certain part of the plants. You couldn't eat all part of plants. Of course, some of the plants, some some minority of the crops, you can do that, but not for all. Many example. Rice, yeah, cereal, and also uh the the corns the corns and then the corns on, only got uh only got so small food and then the whole part the whole part of the stem we couldn't eat yeah and banana you can only eat the fruit and then the whole banana tree you couldn't eat and there, there are so many yeah and so the cow able to eat those things that humans couldn't eat. And if you try to take out the cow, if you try to uh, don't allow the cow in both this, don't allow the animal in both in this uh, cycle, what do you do? The grass and the plants absorb, uh, absorb the nutrition from the land and also uh, 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 absorb the sunlight and then yeah they grow the plants grow and then the quality of the soil decrease okay so you got a plant and then you eat those things you you, you can eat and then those edible things what do you do you do compost you try to turn it you try to turn those inedible things become a good soil and then you put back into the piece of soil uh, so you put back on the on the same piece of land yeah and then so the so, so the piece of land the quality of the soil <clears throat> increase again and then you can plant uh, and, and you can plant some uh, more thing on it yeah so this is a cycle but there's a problem how much time you need to de to to to, to how much time you need to decompose all the inedible plants. A lot of times. Three months, six months, one year. Some part need two years or three years. But, but if you let animal come in, they eat the grass and then they digest. After they digest, they put and then the put is just a natural fertilizer, zero chemical, mm. and very very fast. So if so, you you try to see, uh, 
initially is the sunlight. Sunlight is very important. This is a, you can say it's the most important energy in the planet to, to, uh, to our planet. And then so every organ, organism can grow and also the plant also can grow. Okay? And then plant grows, uh, or when the plant grows, no matter it's grass, no matter it's edible or inedible for human, cow, cattle, sheep, goats, of this ruminant animal, they can eat them. They can eat all the grass. They can eat all the grass. And they digest, they put on a piece of land. And then when there's raining, then and then the puts uh uh go into the soil and then the bacteria decompose it and very easily to decompose the puts because of we know uh, the put is a natural uh, fertilizer very easy you don't need uh, you don't need like do 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 like the three months or or one years to to decompose uh, the the put and somebody will even buy the chicken put or the cow put and mm. just directly put on the plants is it is it just the it's just a fertilizer they can they can immediately uh, improve uh, improve the performance improve the efficiency effectiveness of their of their crop of their plants mm. yeah yeah so and then the cow put they eat the grass and then they 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 give back to the piece of land. Yeah. So the quality of the land may be constant, maybe increased. Yeah. And for human to eat some crops, we also eat some animal. And we may develop technology, we may develop the better plants to help the piece of land. Uh, slow uh, slow down the, de the 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 degradation of the of the lens. We may think on we may use some technology. We may use some plants, the holistic management to do it so to prevent the the overgrassing on a piece of land. We can do the, all these things, and then to let the piece of land remain healthy, hmm. the quality increase, not decrease. Not just yeah. remain constant, but increase. And if you take out the humans, yeah, no problem. Why no problem? It's because it's nature, and we see some so. Yeah, uh, I don't even need to find an evidence. I don't need to even find a statistic for you because you see, if animal and plants. And without humans, the lands, the quality of the land will decrease. We will have the degradation of the land. And then human will not exist. Human will not exist. The planet already exists. Maybe a few uh, trillion years or few billions years, few hundred billion years. If the plants couldn't grow, human will not exist. If the animal couldn't survive, human will not exist. No, this is a cycle. Even though take out a human, the planet will just become better and better without human. Mm. How human play the role? You need to you, you need to really think. Do the planet really need humans or not? Yeah, and how can you contribute to the planet? By letting the nature take back the control not you modify the the genes or the the, the nature and then uh, keep doing something that violates the, the the law of nature this is the first principle i would think mm. i would think in this way yeah yeah and it seems like uh the the amount of uh, animals and uh, kind of like the herd, uh, like cattle or goat, uh, a goat, and then uh, yeah, yeah, it is the number of them decrease and then uh, uh, increase the speed of desertification, right? 
yeah and it also mentioned in this video mm -hmm. yeah so uh, what human can do is like to uh, try to find way to bring back the, the animal to those places which is going to become desert or is or is already desert yeah mm. okay so anything else we want to add in? Mm, uh, no yeah okay yeah so that's all for our second sessions how do you feel did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not native speakers. If you found any vocabulary mistake we make, please also comment to let us know. Because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to let us subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.